Okay, I hope this helps some people out. I was watching the uh, the guys over in Thailand there. Hello, everybody. Um, someone had a mechanical issue with the, the free hub body. And I should imagine the poles, P-A-W-L-S, poles, in the free hub body had stuck or failed for some reason. They they do need, like, regular maintenance um, as far as, depending on the quality of hub you've got, I guess, if you've got, like, a hope or something. I mean, anything can fail at any time, but... You know, like a White Industries or a Hope. Uh, they're going to last a bit longer. But if you've got like a cheaper herb, uh, water can get in there. Perhaps because the seals are not as good as whatever. And they can fail. Hence, you're going to get no pickup on the free herb body on the cassette. Basically, it's going to just spin around. So you're not going to be able to pedal. All right? If that makes sense. So what you can do, you can either carry a couple of big fat zip ties like this. Ideally, cut down from here to here, all right? Or you can carry three or four lighter ones like this, smaller ones, oops. All right, what you're gonna need to do is where your cassette is, you've got a spider, we call it, on the back of the cassette, you're gonna need to go around one of the arms, as you can see in there, obviously I'm not gonna use, you could do it, because it's a bit fiddly to undo it again in there, and I don't, you know, just to get you out of the situation, you're gonna, where the, the spoke crosses on the wheel, you're going to need to go around that as well, all right? And then do the zip tie up, and then do it on the opposite one. And if you've got, like, four of these, the four of the small ones, you can kind of go, you know, one, two, three, four down there, just to make it secure enough to get home, all right? All right, bear in mind it's going to be a fixed-wheel bike now, so just take it easy going down steep hills if there is any. Uh, if you're on the flat, then not as much of a problem, but just keep the speed down and use it as survival mode just to get home, all right? Other things you can do, I just want to share this whilst I'm making this video. If you use CO2 cartridges as well as a pump, I don't recommend just taking these out on their own. Unless you're racing or something, and that's a different matter because you've got support and you're doing that for a reason, aren't you? You can do things like this, like gaffer tape, wrapping gaffer tape around CO2 cartridges. Because at the end of the day, if you're using a CO2 cartridge or a pump like this, which is a uh, Crank Brothers, which has got high pressure and high volume. Excellent pump. Bit heavy for carrying on the road bike though. So yeah, you've got a puncture in the tyre. You're going to need perhaps block a hole up or maybe stick a boot in there or something. Bit of gaffer tape can work. Or you can wrap it around the pump. they have got some insulation tape on there. All right. So there's some tips for you. This one's a lifesaver. I personally have never actually had to use it, luckily. Um, at the end of the day, man, if your frame snaps, there's still, still stuff you can do to get home. Um, like you can make a splint, that's where some zip ties and gaffer tape do come in handy. It does happen, things, crazy things do happen. Um, pedal spindles can come off as well. Um, so yeah, just want to share that, I always make this a long video with loads of tips and tricks, which I didn't really want to do, I just wanted to show this, alright? So, see you later, if you like this tip, give it a like. Uh, share it around to other people because these are light, very lightweight and cheap as well. Bye.